It is time, everyone, for the men's 60-meter finals in the 2022 NCAA Championships. Now, yesterday, we saw some insane drama, with the pre-competition favorites Micah Williams and Terrence Jones both eliminated with two false starts. And, well, today for these finals, we also saw something completely unexpected. And honestly, I don't think this has ever happened in any race in the past, especially a championship race. Ashe out very well. Bowling pulls up. And the winner is going to go from lane two, Devontae Burnett of Southern California. They had... After what appeared to be a clean start, a secondary sound went off, which would indicate that the runner should be called back. But most of the field actually continued sprinting, while two of the pre-race favorites, Matthew Bowling and Rakoi Brathwaite, eased off because of the secondary sound. This is just strange. If yesterday's drama wasn't already enough, now we have a race that was technically completed, but it also wasn't. There was a lot of confusion on the track at this point, and I'm not sure that anyone knew exactly how to handle this, but eventually, everyone was called back, and this race was done again. What's also crazy is that Devontae Burnett from USC ran a super quick time of 6.52 seconds, which would have been a huge personal best, and he would have easily won this NCAA title. But again, this didn't actually count, so every single athlete had returned to the blocks. For quite a while, the officials were actually trying to figure out what exactly should happen next. Should they run the race now? Should they give the athletes a few more minutes to recover? Or should they postpone the race until a later time on this day? There was no direct answer as to exactly what should happen, and only adding to the dysfunction of this moment, the entire coverage of this race was soon cut off completely, leaving everyone, from the athletes, to the coaches, to the fans around the world, in a very uncomfortable and dysfunctional racing limbo. If this wasn't already enough, I didn't even get to see this final, because the coverage was back online after this race was completed. So given this entire 60 meter final, this might be the most abnormal race I've ever experienced. At the end of the day, there was some justice for Devontae Burnett, as he eventually went on to win this final in 6.50 seconds, tying him as the sixth fastest athlete in the world this year. And he ran, I guess, another personal best in this race? I'm still trying to figure out how to describe this. Finishing behind Burnett was Rakoi Brathwaite, Favor Ashe, Lawrence Johnson, and finishing in fifth was Matthew Bowling, who is officially no longer undefeated in 2022. It was already quite remarkable that Bowling had maintained such a long undefeated season, but given that the 60 meter dash is not his primary event, this 5th place finish is not entirely surprising. This is one of the weirdest races I've ever witnessed, but I gotta say, Devontae Burnett is looking incredible, at least from what I saw in the opening attempt. So keep your eyes on him as this season progresses, as the 100 and the 200 meters could very well be his events in 2022. Thanks for watching everyone, and as always, that was a weird race.